Hello, welcome back to another Tabletop Talk. Uh, today I'm going to take a stab at something a little different. Uh, as you know, I've been playing the 1946 uh, ATBA season on the side. Uh, and as far as entering stats in, uh, the options that I have are to do it by hand, uh, like Kirk, our good friend Kirk Berglund says he does. Uh, I can't bring myself to get to that point. Uh, one of these days that may change, <laughs> but for now, uh, I can't. The other option is replay uh, baseball PC, and they don't have 1946 available, so that's not an option. Uh, I do have this 1946 version of Stratomatic. Um, but, uh, just not real crazy about Strat PC, uh, unless I'm using it to play Stratomatic. Uh, I do like it then, uh, cause it does help, you know, help figure out some of the calculations. It's not perfect. I wish that you could roll some dice that, that are automated, but I do like Strat PC for Strat. I don't like it as <coughs> using it as a tool to, uh, import stats for another game. So... Uh, for my 1946, I've been experimenting here with uh, Ball Stat and Ball Score, which is a free program. Uh, there are some uh, very good videos out there about how how to do this, and so through that and trial and error, I've kind of figured out myself, um, you know, how to do it. So um, I've got about seven games of the American League played and about four or five of the National League played. So I, I'm going to try to enter those in, <clears throat> not all today. <laughs> uh, but I was going to show you kind of how I set this up, and hopefully that might be helpful uh, to some people. Uh, so just wanted to share that. So what I'm going to do starting here is to actually create the league <clears throat> and then show you uh, what I do to uh, will enter at least maybe part of one, one game, um, and then um, take it from there. So um, so to create a league, you just hit create a league. Now, if you want to do a, a major league replay, you can hit this major league replay button and then type in the year, and I'm going to do that. So, you know, I'm doing both leagues. <coughs> Excuse me. I may end up, um, you know, just doing one league or the other or, you know, neither, but for now, you know, I want to have both available so that I can enter them in if I want. So, uh, I just do that. You can name this anything you want. So hit next. Uh, the normal length of games, of course, is nine, the way a major league game should be. Uh, if there's no divisions, you can just hit no divisions and it'll give you an American and national league. So you hit next and then it'll put it in a browser and I just keep it where they put it. Uh, and then uh, it's not created. Would you like to? Yes. Hit finish. And then all of these I just hit yes to. Okay, so it's it's completed. So, and it's ready to use. So I just close out of this. And then this is ball stat. So then you want to go to ball score. Open that up, and so how it works that how you actually enter teams into the uh, league uh, is through keeping score and then exporting this teams at the end. So uh, you want to pick your league, so you hit here, and then I want 1946 that I just created, and then you want this file, and then it'll ask you if you want to do that, and I always hit yes, and then so you want game set up. And if you do, I want to discard. So when you open ball score, it creates a, a thing here. And I always hit yes to that. <coughs> so as you can see, I've been dabbling with this. So I already have the date I want. So it's Tuesday, uh, March the 16th, 1946. And so I do want that date. And then so it starts with the visiting team. Now, um, you hit load roster. And this is where it gets a little confusing. Um, there's a default here before we do that. There's a def when you go to file, ball score properties, and then your folders, there's a default folder uh, where it puts things. Uh, I actually make my own place where I have them. Um, 
as far as how to get those. Um, if anybody's interested, I can show. There's a couple uh, really good uh, videos. ID Jester did one, and there's some other out there that show how to do get the rosters. But um, you can get them from um, Retro Sheet, or if you go to the Ball Stat um, Ball Score homepage web page uh, there's actually a file that's got uh, like 1890 all the way up through uh, 1908 or uh, 2008 I think so uh, obviously I don't do much with the new league so I don't need that so uh, I actually use the one that is on ball score the retro sheet one uh, misses a few of the common you know like the two hit players and my app set has every player in it. So, I, you know, it seems to me the ball score is more um, more complete, the one that's on the ball score website. But anyway, I got mine in desktop, sports sims, ball score. Uh, and you see retro sheet. I got rosters there, but the ball stat rosters are the ones I use. And then you go down to the year. 1946 and then they're divvied up by ALNL so but that's the file I want so hit okay so now uh, when you want to do the roster you do the RLM and then so if I want to load a roster so this this particular game is the Red Sox at uh, at Washington uh, opening day um, the Red Sox won this six to three in real, real life uh, in my replay the Senators one six to three. So anyway, hit load roster. We go AL. So I need Boston because they're the home team. And as you can see, I actually have some colors uh, coded for this team. So now um, getting the actual um, as played lineups. Again, I can do a video for that if anybody's interested. But there's other videos that show how to get that. Uh, you get that from. Uh, it's ATM Manager for B Baseball for Windows, and it used to be on Yahoo. Uh, it's no longer. It's a different group now. Uh, but again, if anybody's interested, I can show that. So this is more of a just a generic overview of how to set up a league once you get those things. <clears throat> so anyway, go to Tabletop Functions, go to Luff Foster, and then again, I have those uh, in the Sports Sims, Ball Score, and you see I got them ATM lineups. 19 and then that love file is what you need then i need the boston red sox is the team i'm looking for and then it'll ask me to save that it back into that roster file so i save that back into boston and then yes i want to replace it hit okay and then usually a good idea to save your roster at this point and then so if i go to load lineup you can see that they are there and so again if anybody wants a video on how i did that let me know so we got that is our first one. And then I usually check it uh, with uh, a baseball reference. So I actually get the lineups from baseball reference. But so just make sure there was one where um, I can't remember the game, but the, the guy at first was replaced after one at bat. And so the starting lineup actually had the second guy who had four hits as the starter. And so I had to fix that so anyway you got catfish rudy york door so yep that's good so hit okay so again i mean that's good and you hit the green so that's for boston and then you go down to the senators so we go to rlm again and load roster al washington and then we want to get our uh the, the luff whatever that stands for and again i got that in ball score atm and this is where i put it so i know where it's at and then we want washington they got nationals but obviously they were the senators and then again you want to save that back into that roster file that you had and i do and again good good idea to save your roster at this point Load lineup, and there they are. So for 416, again, let me check it. Evans, Pretty, Vernon, Heath, Travis, 
spent Lewis and Robertson. So, yep, we're good. So I hit OK. Green. And as you can see, I kind of got some colors for them, too. So that so there your <coughs> lineups are ready to go. And then uh, I'll kind of talk you through entering in this game. Uh, here, there's one thing. Uh, Washington, you can see here, um, like there that says Bos uh, Washington. Let me see what you're seeing. Okay. There in the lineup, you know, I, you can change their name, and I just do the Red Sox because I know I don't need the 46 or anything. I know what season I'm in, you know, based on, you know, what I created. So um, you can see I got Washington or the Red Sox, but for Washington, I don't think I did. So you can actually flip it right here to the next page. Yeah, so I, don't, I didn't do that. So I want to change that to Washington Nationals or Senators, rather. And then hit OK. So then that should you know, get me back to where I need to be. So so we're in the top of the first, and you can see uh, you can kind of do some juggling. I'd, I'd like to figure out how to make this up here bigger, uh, but uh, I can't. And then again, if anybody's interested in the colors, uh, you do that here. And I can, again, there's a couple of good videos out, but I can kind of show what I've did if anybody's interested in that. If I do all this stuff, this video will be, you know, three hours long. So uh, I do like the location. So if I do the location, it might be in here already. So we are at Griffith Stadium, and it's not in here yet. So I will enter it. Stadium. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to score our game. So you can see here the blue things means just where you're at. Now you need to be careful because it will let you start with the <laughs> with the bottom of the lineup, and, and we don't want that. So so we'll start with Dom DiMaggio, and he singled. So now there, the good thing about this thing is that there are many different ways you can enter in the the score. Uh, for me, the best way is the hotkeys, uh, but you also can, uh, you know, do it with the mouse. Uh, you've got options up here that you can do it. And so I'll just show you how, what's best for me. Uh, and then, you know, you can experiment yourself. So for uh, if they get on base, there's an A. If, they, if they're if they out, uh, it's an O. So uh, DiMaggio started with a single, so I hit A. And then I hit one for single, and he's on first. <clears throat> Easy as that. Johnny Pesky, he grounded out, <clears throat> which advanced DiMaggio to second. So then I hit O because he was out. Then I hit uh, G uh, for the ground out to short, and then it'll just assume that DiMaggio went to second, which he did. I hit OK. Ted Williams bounced back to the pitcher, uh, which got DiMaggio to third. So again, O for out. A's one to three, and then it automatically, quite often, it guesses very good. So DiMaggio did make it to third, so I hit OK. And then Bobby Doerr flied out to center. So O, V is a fly out, and that's the end of the top of the first. And then it automatically switches you to the, to the next, you know, flips the score sheet for you. And so now we're in the bottom of the second for the Senators. So Robertson, he tripled, so that's, again, he got on base. So that's an A, three for a triple. Uh, Buddy Lewis grounded out to third, which scored him. So that would be an O for an out. Four to three is an E. And then it automatically assumed Robinson scored, which he did. Now, if he didn't, then you would just, you could hit A, and that would put him, you know, keep him at third, uh, or just hit B. You know, the options are right there that he scored, which he did. And then hit OK. Stan Pence grounded out to short. Six to three. And then Cecil Travis grounded out to third, which is an F. So easy as that. So we go to the top of the second. York struck out, so that's a zero in the left bracket. Uh, Catfish Metkovich doubled, so that's an A, <clears throat> two. Uh, Andres fouled out. Now that one's a little different. So how I do that is if I hit the space bar, it gives me the option for a foul out there. So I hit X. And that was to the third baseman. So you hit five for the third baseman. <clears throat> Put out third baseman was good. Uh, Mekovich stayed at second. So enter, enter, I'm good. And then <clears throat> Howe Walker bounced back to the pitcher. So O, A. 
And that's the it for the Red Sox. So uh, Jeff Heath homered uh, to lead off the sec- bottom of the second. So that's A uh, and 4, his home run. And then again, you have to be careful when you're entering this after the fact that you get your pinch hitters and your pitch ch- pitching changes. So I did have a pinch hitter and I did have one pitching change. So you'll be able to see that. So Mickey Vernon flew out to left. So that's out O uh, U. Pretty grounded to second, which is O E. Uh, Evans doubled, which is A two. <coughs> what wa- uh, Roger Wolf walked, which is A. W, and then Robertson struck out, which is O, left bracket. So we go to the top of the third. Um, Tex Houston grounded back to the pitcher, so that's O, A. And then 4-3 to three for DiMaggio, so that's O, E. And Pesky was O, U, fly out to left field. So bottom of the third, Buddy Lewis struck out, which is O, left bracket. Fly out to nine, O, W, ground to the short, O, G. So top of the fourth, uh, Williams walked, A, W, door struck out, O, left bracket. Uh, Rudy York po- or fouled out to the catcher, so again I do the space bar, X, 2 for the catcher. Put out is good, runner stayed on first, and then Catfish Metkovic struck out. O left bracket. <coughs> Still struggling with a cough, so bear with me. So here, again, I just want to check, make sure I don't miss a pitching change or something. Uh, Jeff Heath proceeded to double, so he had a good game. Uh, now, Mickey Vernon intentionally walked. Now, the intentional walk is is touchy. <laughs> it took a while for me to figure that this one out. So you hit A, W for the walk, and then you have to put your Cursor back on that box. Go up to edit, toggle, BB, IBB, and that makes it a intentional walk. And then you go back down to your next one. So there may be another way to do that, but that's the way I figured out how to do it. And again, um, it was <laughs> took me a while to figure that out. All right, so Jerry Pretty is up next, and he grounded to third, and everybody advanced. So that's O, F is to at 5-3, and it automatically has them advancing, so I hit OK. And then uh, Al Evans walked, so that's A-W. Roger Wolf, he flied out to uh, center field and wasn't deep enough to get a run scored, so that's O-V, which is, and then it has having everybody stay, so that's what happened, so I hit OK. And then Robertson struck out, so that's O, left bracket. So on to the Red Sox in the top of the fifth. Now, let's see. We didn't do an inning change here because Roger Wolf pitched the whole game for the Senators. Tex Houston got pulled in the eighth. All right, so we're in the top of the fifth. Um, Andres led off. He bounced back to the pitcher, so that's O-A. Wagner scored, which is A-W. Got a foul out to the catcher, so again, I do the space bar, X, 2, that is correct, and he stayed on first. Uh, DiMaggio had an infield single, and you can keep track of that. That's A, N, which is an infield single. He advanced to second, which I like that. I like to differentiate between uh, an infield single and regular single, and that's a differential inside of ATBA, and I like you know that you can do it in the scorebook. Uh, Johnny Pesky had an infield single, so we got A, N, and that loaded the bases. And then Ted Williams proceeded to hit a two-run double, so that's an A, 2, or actually a three-run double. He cleared the bases, so you can see Wagner scored, DiMaggio scored, and they've got Pesky going to third, so I need to hit Q to get him to score, <clears throat> and there you have it. So you can see that Ted Williams got the three green dots, which is how uh, it denotes RBIs. And then, of course, you can see up on the top there that it's keeping track of the, the score or the uh, player's stats. And then you can set that to do the game or you can do the season. I tend to do the season. Uh, Bobby Dore walked, A-W. And then Rudy York bent, bounced back <coughs> to the pitcher. So that's O, 
A. So that's it for the Red Sox. So they went ahead three to two. So we got the top or the bottom of the fifth. Let's see. And again, we changed pitchers in the seventh. <clears throat> so the bottom of the fifth, Buddy Lewis singled. That's an A1. Uh, Stan Pinch flied out to center. <clears throat> o V. Runner stayed on first. Cecil Travis doubled him home, so that's an A2. And then you can see we need Lewis to score, so we need to make that a Q to get him to score, hit enter. Um, Heath flied out to right field, and he did not advance, so that's an O, W, stayed on second. Uh, Mickey Vernon was intentionally walked again, so that's A, W. And then remember, we have to go back to highlight that box. Go up to edit, toggle BB, IBB, and so go back to where we belong there. <coughs> and then uh, pretty grounded out to third, so that's an O, F. So that did it. So we go to the top of the sixth. Metkovich flied out to center, which is O, V. Uh, Andres grounded back to the pitcher, which is O, A. And then Wagner grounded to second, which is O, E. So as you can see, you know, once you get these <clears throat> uh, hot strokes or keystrokes in your head, it, it goes pretty quick. Obviously, I'm slowing this down, you know, for the sake of the video. All right, so we got the sixth here for the Senators. Now uh, Evans walked a W. Now we got a sack bunt. So, again, he was out, so we want O. And then you can see sack bunt is H. And he did advance to second. And then we need here we need to do who did it. So this was the pitcher unassisted. So that would be, uh, this have to use the mouse, the put out. And then here you can actually hit one. And so that's the pitcher and hit OK. So as you can see, sacrifice hit to the pitcher. Uh, one out and he's on second base. And then Sherry Robertson singled him home. So that's an A1. And then we need Evans to score. So we need to hit the I to do that. Hit enter. Uh, Buddy Lewis bounced back to th uh, the pitcher, which advanced the runner. So that's O-A, and they had him advance automatically, so we're good there. And then Stan Pence was out 3-1, to one, so that's O-D, I believe it is. Very good. So we go to the top of the seventh, four to three Senators. So top of the seventh, um, here we actually let... Um, Tex Houston hit again, so he struck out, O, left bracket, fly out for DiMaggio, O, V, 4 to 3 for Pesky, O, E, <coughs> bottom of the seventh, so this is where Houston got, or Tex Houston got, got relieved, so uh, Travis walked, A, W, and Jeff Heath proceeded to hit his second home run of the game, so that's A, 4, and, of course, he scored. And so now here we got a new pitcher. And so uh, it was Earl Johnson. So what you want to do, how I do it anyway. And, again, there's different ways you can do this. So that is one cool thing about this, that if you don't like this way, there's different ways. But, anyway, right-click on the box, insert new pitcher. And then, again, it was Earl Johnson. Now, the, this is very important. You want to make sure that you put him somewhere in the lineup. If not, he will not show up, and then that can make you have to start the whole game over again. So he, he went in the ninth slot. Then you hit OK, and then you can see it gives you the line there that there's a new pitcher, <coughs> and that's as easy as that. So then if you go up to the Red Sox, <coughs> you can see he's in the lineup. So again... Very important that you put him in the lineup because if you just put him in the game, it won't do it automatically. All right, so uh, Mickey Vernon bounced to short, so that's OG. Strike out for pretty, O left bracket. Pop out to five, that's just an O and a five. You just have, for a pop up, you just have to hit the position. So we got the eighth. Ted Williams walked, A W. Door struck out, O left bracket. Um, Rudy York grounded to third, which advanced the runner. So that's O, F, and they had him advance automatically. And then a fly out to left is O, uh, W. <coughs> okay, bottom of the eighth. 
Uh, Roger Wolf, he uh, walked a W. Strikeout for Robertson, O left bracket. Now we got a double play here. And again, they set this up really good. So he was out, obviously. So you hit O. A double play is zero. So you hit zero. And then you can see there that for a, this was a four, six, three double play. All you got to do is hit four and then hit, they'll make sure that's what you want. And you hit okay. And then you got a four, six, three double play. So as easy as that. All right. So we got the uh, bottom of the, uh, or the top of the ninth for the Red Sox. Andre struck out, O left bracket. Struck out for uh, Wagner, O left bracket. Now we had a pinch hitter here. So once again, you left bracket, or I mean right click. This time you want to insert a pinch hitter. And uh, we did Lee Culbertson, or Leon rather. And then this just tells you where you want him. So it's it, it's automatic. You can see that that's the third slot because we put in the pitcher in that one spot, even though he didn't hit. So he hit okay. So Leon Culbertson is there, and he flied out to center field. O V. Okay, so when the game's over, uh, it tells you that. So uh, you want to hit in. So hit OK and hit in. Now, sometimes it doesn't give you who the won or loss is, which is a little frustrating. So you have to figure that out yourself. Uh, if there's only one pitcher, obviously Wolf got the win. So Tex Houston got the loss. So as far as blown saves and holds, you have to keep track of that yourself because it doesn't look like it does keep track of that. At first, I was concerned it didn't do earn runs and uh, unearned runs, but it does do that. So, again, you can put in conditions, the umpires, if you want to get that crazy. But here's the date, the location. So you hit OK. And then that will save this uh, scorebook, which you want to save. And then um, once you... The game's over. Uh, every game, you have to load these stats into ball uh, stat. So how you do that? Over here, you got the red uh, icon, or you can hit go to file and do export. So we want to do the red socks. So hit export, and then now the very first time you do it, uh, this says we need to create this team. After they're created, you don't need to do this again. Uh, you need to save them everything, but you don't need to create them. So we want to create this team. Uh, the three letter, uh, three letter for the Red Sox would be uh, B O A because there's a Boston National League team this year. Washington would be W A S. The home field for the Red Sox for future reference. So we want Fenway Park. And then we want to make what league they're in. Because, again, if you remember earlier, it created a National American. So they're obviously in the American. And you hit OK. And then it export finished. And then so next, now we want to do the Senators. Create this team. So, again, it's already created it from the last time. Griffith Stadium. They're in the American League. So all you got to do is hit OK. And then <clears throat> I don't like to restart it. I hit No. And then when you try to get out of it, uh, it will ask you if you want to uh, save the current, this, this current scorebook. And I always hit yes. Okay, so if we go to back to ball score here, uh, we should be able to create some reports. Now, this is one thing I haven't really um, got into much, so I'm still figuring it out. So let's see if we go to reports. Open a custom report total. Yeah, I tell you, what, I haven't really figured this out yet. Let me show you how I do it. If you do the web thing, it creates like a website, and that's what I use. So you view it, and it makes it like a web browser. So if you do the American League, you can see we have the Washington Senators 1 and 0, the Red Sox 0 and 1. And then again, the next time I play these two teams, you know, with against each other or whoever, uh, I won't need to recreate them. You just have to upload them and, you know, it'll already have them in the system. But that's how they get from ball score to ball stat. So, and uh, it, this, the, stat, st the st stats are really good, at the, you know, with this web-based one. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to do it either. But, I mean, if you hit the Senators, 
there's their batting totals, pitching totals, you know, fielding totals. So, you know, and you got your standings, you know, so you got your National League. Hmm. It says American League. Oh, there's the National League. Yeah, there's nobody in there. So, so yeah, so that's uh, basically how you do it. Uh, so uh, I'm doing this for my 1946, you know, again, the app I've been playing. Um, just wanted to give replay another shot or not replay. I wanted to give ball score and ball stat. It's free and it's a really good program. It's a little finicky. You have to take your time and be careful because sometimes you can go down a dark road and <clears throat> ruin everything. <laughs> so, um, you know, you have to be careful. Uh, but again, you know, it works really, really well. And so, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to share that. Uh, still enjoying my APA 46. Again, you know, it's nice to, to play. So I, I'm debating on whether to keep score on. Uh, I, I toyed around with keeping score just in the ball score, but they, I just like having the paper in my hand and doing it myself. It's just me. I know that's a lot of games. If I did every game in both leagues, probably never get it done. But, you know, uh, I just and it would be quicker just to score it this way. And a lot of people do that and there's nothing wrong with it. I just like having the, uh, the, the pen and paper in hand. So that's just me. Um, but, uh, been debating on whether I want to score it while I'm, you know, playing the game or playing the game and then scoring it later. Uh, I think I'm leaning toward playing the game and scored it later. I've tried both, but the game goes quicker, uh, when I'm just playing it and it seems to flow better for me. And then go in and uh, enter this game later, and you can see it doesn't take that long. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm, you know, still working out. An app is a new game, uh, trying a different way to compile stats, and uh, so so far this is working. So again, if anybody needs how you get the rosters or how you get that luff, the uh, the the uh, lineups as played if you want or the colors or anything else again this was kind of a broad stroke showing you how i enter it in and create a league uh, if you would like more than that let me know i'd be happy to do it uh, but just wanted to share this for now so uh, as usual i appreciate it very much any comments always appreciated um, loving all the interaction we're having and enjoying it a lot so i appreciate it very much and i'll see you next time <laughs>